How's it going there, humanoid? Alright, let's talk about the Zeo Ranger era. Alright, so you got Adam, Rocky, Tanya, Cat, and Tommy. All of these guys never officially lost their powers. Even though Tommy said in Dino Thunder that he was no longer a ranger, yet the show never did give an explanation as to how or when they lost their powers. Officially, they never lost their powers. Technically, they upgraded to their turbo powers. So, Jason David Frank will have to play three roles. He would have to be Tom, the White Stranger, and Tommy, playing the Green Ranger, the White Ranger, and the Red Zeo Ranger. Adam would be the Green Zeo Ranger. Adam still has his black power coin morphed, which the Sentinel Knight gave him in Operation Overdrive when he revived his power. But you can't have two black rangers in the team, since Zack has already got that spot filled. And you have Rocky, who only has a Zeonizer. That's the only morpher he has, because he gave his blue turbo power. Technically, he was never the blue turbo ranger. He was supposed to be. You could say that Rocky was supposed to be the blue turbo ranger. Justin took over the role of the blue turbo ranger. Tanya and Kat also only have their Zeonizers because they gave up their turbo powers to the new generation of Power Rangers, which I will get to later. Trey of Triforia would be the Gold Ranger, of course. They would have to find him in Triforia somewhere. He would come from Triforia and help out the Rangers in that battle, since he regained his Gold Ranger powers from Jason. As for the special forces for Zeo, that would go to Oric the Conqueror. That guy has gone missing ever since that season finished. Never to be seen again, so wherever they find him, Orc could help out in the battle. On to Turbo! Two people from the Turbo series have their Turbo powers, and they are TJ and Justin. Why only them? Well, in the final battle, Divatox destroyed the command center, and all the Rangers lost their powers. Also, she kidnapped Lightning Cruiser and Storm Blaster. But in space, they got back those two cars. For some reason, those two cars had the uh, Turbo Morphers in there, so TJ and Justin have their powers, while Carlos, Ashley, and Cassie don't have their powers. But that can be fixed, because Selwyn Ward, Patricia Jali, Tracy Lynn Cruz, and Roger Velasco can play double duty. No, Sentinel Knight cannot revive their powers or go back in time, do something like find a different path to them. Remember the Robot Rangers where Zordon wanted Alpha 6 on Earth to build some Rangers so they could protect Eltar? In that episode, Justin found out that the Rangers were robots and then found out he was a robot himself. The Robot Rangers went to Eltar to help out Zordon, but they were never heard of again. So I'm assuming that they're still alive out there. Say that they're still out there. You could bring them in as the Turbo Rangers. Mine is Justin, the Blue Turbo Ranger. Why? Because the Blue Turbo Ranger was a robot, and robots can't really grow, can they? Unless something freaky can happen to them, then yeah, that would be weird. But Blake Foster, who's now 25, who was 12, would come in and be the original Blue Turbo Ranger. That way he won't have a robot ranger. Because Blake Foster, aka Justin, has his Blue Turbo powers. So you got four robot rangers and one human ranger. So that makes up the turbo rangers right there. Phantom ranger can also go and help the power rangers in their team up battle. They have to find him wherever he is. Because that guy just goes off somewhere. And no one really knows what he looks like. Because they never showed who he was. The phantom ranger has basically been a lone wolf all this time. His story was supposed to be that he was supposed to be Zordon's son all this time. But they never did get to that, so one can only hope that they could bring that storyline back in when they finally do this team-up battle. One can only hope, though. As for the origins of the Turbo Power, since I said in Zeo that they just upgraded the Turbo, well, in the show, supposedly, it was supposed to be Billy who lost his powers and became a technical advisor on that show. It was rumored that he was the one who was creating the Turbo Powers and Turbo Zords when the Gold Ranger episode started showing up and he kept on disappearing. That was supposed to explain why he disappeared all the time because he was somewhere else building the Turbo Zords and creating the Turbo Powers. 
But they never did do that because David Yost sadly left the show. Why he left the show? Well, there's two stories to that. There's David Yost's story to it, and there is Scott Page Patner's side of the story. Who is he? He was a producer on the show when they were doing Zio. David Yost's story is that he was constantly bombarded with harassment because he was gay at the time. He did not like that. And it's kind of sad knowing that people behind the scenes were making fun of him because he was gay and constantly harassing him. So he couldn't take it, so he left the show. People thought he wanted too much money at first because he never did explain why he left the show in the first place. Then in 2010, he did an interview and said that he was gay during that time and that people behind the scenes like people behind the scenes were making fun of him and calling him in his words faggot then there's Scott Page Pegner's side of the story he said that David Yost left because of a pay bonus that he did not like and that other actors did not get along with him because as he said David Yost was a pain in the ass who knows which story is true, but there's two different stories to this. Yeah, so that's the supposed origins of the Turbo Powers. As for the Special Forces in Turbo, I would have to say Blue Centurion can go in there and kick some ass. Cause you gotta admit, that guy does kick ass. Also, Irutan. If you don't remember who Irutan is, go back and watch the episode Spirit of the Woods. There was a little boy in there called Irutan, backwards spelled nature. He had powers and could kick the crap out of anyone if he wanted to. But he also was just protecting the force. But if they ever did do a movie or TV show and they needed help, they could bring in this person who is now an adult and he could be a very good addition to the team to help out since he can't die because he is a spirit. Could use his forest powers to help out or whatever powers he has because he disappeared in the end into the woods. Onto space. Alright, so we've now got to In Space, Power Rangers In Space, TJ, Carlos, Cassie, Ashley, Andros, and Zane. They still have their powers because they never officially lost their powers. So the real TJ, Cassie, Carlos, and Ashley are the roles of the Space Rangers because the robot TJ, Cassie, Ashley, and Carlos are playing the role of the Turbo Rangers, which I explained before. So that explains the Power Ranger in space team. Also, the Space Rangers have a Psycho Silver suit laying around somewhere. Because when the Space Rangers took on the Psycho Rangers, Zane came up with the idea to bring in a Psycho Silver Ranger to confuse the Psycho Rangers. Which it worked! Psycho Silver Ranger came in wanted to kick the crap out of the Space Rangers just for storyline's sake just to show that he's on the Psycho Rangers side to make them think they're on their side but then he shows that he really was Zane in the Psycho Silver suit then he morphed into his Silver Ranger suit so that Psycho Silver Ranger suit is somewhere lying around somewhere and somebody could use it and use it in the battle it's there, why not use it? who could fill the role of the Psycho Silver Ranger suit? I don't know, what do you think? As for the special forces, first one definitely has to be the Ninja Turtles. Yes, you heard me right, the Ninja Turtles. Shell Shock episode. They did a crossover from the TV show Ninja Turtles Next Mutation. So if they acknowledge that the Ninja Turtles do exist in this world, why not bring them in? They could really help out a lot, seeing Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and what's her name, that girl that they had? Oh yeah, Venus could really come in and help kick some ass. Karoon. Yes, I said Karoon. Don't forget that she's an alien from the planet KO-35 along with her brother Andros. She did used to be astronomer. And she does have powers even though she never showed them after she stopped being astronomer. But she's still an alien, so I'm assuming she has alien powers like Andrews does with his powers that he has. So she could put on the astronomer suit again and fight for the power of good. 
Because you know she has that laying around somewhere, because in Lost Galaxy, she had that on when she tried to save the Pink Saber, because Kendrick died. But I'll get to that later on in Lost Galaxy. Also, one more person, and that will be Ecliptor. Yes, I know he's dead, but think about this. Ecliptor was a good warrior. No. Ecliptor was an awesome warrior. Kicked the crap out of the rangers all the time when he was a villain. But here's the thing though. Ecliptor was always a father figure to Karon. Always looked out for her. So he had a heart for her even though he was an evil bastard. Even though he's dead, they could bring him back since they brought back Kendrix in Lost Galaxy with no explanation whatsoever. He could help out Karon because he loves her as a father and would do anything to protect her. So for this one time only, he would help her out in this battle because he cares for her too much. So those are my thoughts on the Zeo, Turbo, and In Space eras. Tune in next time when I discuss Lost Galaxy, Lightspeed, and Time Force. So long, humanoids.